it's obvious that Real Madrid has the winning mentality. They they want to win every game, every trophy, everything. And do you see the same attitude in the back in the back in the offices? Absolutely. I mean, uh, it's a shame that those assemblies, these assemblies are on 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 television. You can find them on G two for those at the end of the years. And uh, it's a shame that they are they are in Spanish. But you might you might if you speak a bit of Spanish. You might you might you might understand it. Uh, they have the representative members uh, challenging, uh, but sometimes it's not even needed challenging because you see how. Uh, people like Florentino Perez or jo Jose Angel Sanchez, the GM of Real Madrid, work. It's not that they work hard; they are they are so talented people. We we have the high performance also in the in the in the in in the teams in the offices, no? And and uh, we always are, are looking for global talent, and and obviously the brand itself attract the talent, retain the good talent, and 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 obviously you see that there. You you really see that there. I mean. Uh, Every year, I think, how can I add value here? How can I push a bit more the the, the, the club? You know, I have been pushing a lot in the last years myself uh, on sustainability. You know, my proposals are around, and, and I know the club now is working on that. Uh, and this is an example. We need to be the, the sport club more sustainable in the in the world. And what does it mean? That means not only be neutral in carbon neutral, but also generate and balance other clubs' emissions by our negative impact and we need to be the best one on this the same as we are on on, on the pitch no and and and, uh, and after that for example Real Madrid now is working with BMW now the fleet of cars in the club for the players are all EVs all electrical they are working with Deloitte to give you another example on sustainable actions and all that is coming from from representative member no that and, and I'm feeling that that you are here and and uh, you challenge the club and, and 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 the people in the club that at the end are other members that are president and are in the board, challenging the, the organization and making sure they are looking after what is our our baby. It's it's amazing, no? And yeah, I can tell you. Every time you try to add value and push and, and you find difficult because things are done very, very well, no? The, the people we have is is really talented. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, definitely. And you need them at the end organization, not only in football, in any industry, uh, is uh, people, processes and tools. But people and processes, that, that's an organization. And you have inputs to create value, being very efficient, work productivity, and you give an output. You know? that, that's the value that your organization, regardless what uh, what uh, what business it is, regardless what industry it is, um, that, that's what is behind a brand, people and processes. Yeah? And the processes are put by people, so release people. At, at the end, everything is ultimately ends on, on the people. So you have those results. Uh, actually, sometimes I think it's more difficult. Uh, uh, I, I really think that I think it's more difficult to have a sustainable club nowadays, paying those salaries and those costs that you have than winning a Champions League. Really, so I think what they are doing behind behind the scenes, mm -hmm. uh, without them, it will not be possible. You will not be able to bring the best players to play for the club with, without them. Yeah.